1975 season. And what happened this season? A fair bit, I think. Start with January 16th when Minnesota releases Harmon Killebrew. Killebrew ends up signing with KC later. Kansas City, I mean. January 23rd, Ralph Kiner elected in the Hall of Fame by the by a single vote by the baseball writers. February 3rd, Billy Herman, Hank, uh, Hank Alfred, or whatever, and Billy Harris elected in the Hall of Fame by the Special, writer, special Vo Writers Committee. And February 10th, the Special Committee on Negro Leagues picks Judy Johnson for Hall of Fame. April 8th, Frank Robinson makes his managerial debut as Cleveland wins 5-3. April 11th, Hank Aaron, now at the Milwaukee Brewers, makes his return to Milwaukee as 48,160 fans watch him driving a run and watch his Milwaukee beat Cleveland 62. On May 1st, he goes 4-4-4 four for four, driving in two runs in a as Milwaukee beat Detroit 17-3. The, the two RBIs he gets passes Babe Ruth on the on the most RBIs list. But Aaron has at 22-11. Ruth was, was at 2,209 and now, somebody had done some work in February says uh, it was noticed that Ruth had fewer RBIs, so Hank Aaron beat him sooner. Anyways, May 4th, Bob Will, Bob Watson scores the one millionth Major League Baseball run, beating out Dave Concepcion, who had just hit the home run at the same time he was scoring from second. On May 25th, Dennis Eckersley debuts with Cleveland and wins 6 to nothing. June 1st, Nolan Ryan pitches his fourth career no-hitter, tying him with Sandy Koufax. And he also gets his career win number 100. June 7th, Dan Quisenberry signs with Kansas City. Yes, uh, there is yourself a pretty decent submarine thrower. It wasn't really more side under arm and then look up Dan Quisenberry on on YouTube. See if you can find him th pitching. June 18th, Fred Lynn drives in 10 runs with three home runs, a triple, and a single in a Boston 15-1 win over Detroit. His 16 total bases tied, tied I think it was a AL record. July 15th at the All-Star Game in Milwaukee. National League 6, American League 3. Ends up being Hank Aaron's last All-Star Game. July 27th, Ron Guidry makes his Yankees debut. And on August 2nd, my birthday. Yankees 5, Cleveland 3, and Billy Martin's managerial debut. September 18th, Harmon Killebrew of Kansas City homers off Minnesota's Eddie Bain and his it was it ends up being his last career hit, last career home run, and last career run he scored. November twelfth, Kansas City releases him and ends up retiring with five hundred and seventy three home runs. Season stats Rod Carew of Minnesota three fifty nine average. Led the majors. Reggie Jackson of Oakland and George Scott of Milwaukee each had 36 home runs. Led the American League. George Scott of Milwaukee also had 109 RBIs. Led the American League. Jim Hunter of the Yankees and Jim Palmer of the Orioles, 23 wins each, tied for the major league lead. Jim Palmer also had a 2.09 ERA, which led the majors. And Frank Tanana of California, 
later, he ends up with Detroit later, 269 strikeouts, leading the majors. National League, Bill, Madlo Bill Madlock of Chicago, 354 average, led the National League. Mike Schmidt of Philadelphia, 38 home runs, led the, nat led the major leagues. And Greg Kaczynski of Philadelphia, 120 RBIs, led the, led the majors. Oof. Tom Seaver of the Mets, 22 wins, led the National League. Randy Jones of San Diego, a 2.25 ERA, led the National League. And Tom Seaver of the Mets had 243 strikeouts, which led the National League. Standings. Boston finishes first in the American League East with a 95 and 65 record. Baltimore ends up with 90 and going 90 and 69, four and a half back. Yankees go 83 and 77, 12 back. Cleveland goes 79 and 80, 15 and a half back. Milwaukee goes 68-94, 28 back. And Detroit goes 57 and 102, 37 and a half back. American League West. Oakland takes the Western Division, 98 and 64. Kansas City goes 91 and 71, 7 back. Texas goes 79 and 83, 19 back. Minnesota goes 76 and 83, 20 and a half back. Chicago goes 75 and 86, 22 and a half back. And California goes 72 and 89, 25 and a half back. National League East. Pittsburgh wins the Eastern Division with a 92 and 69 record. Philadelphia goes 86 and 76, 6 and a half back. Mets and the St. Louis Cardinals each go 82 and 80, 10 and a half back. And Chicago and Montreal each go 75 and 87, 17 and a half back. Cincinnati wins the National League West Division with 108 wins and 54 losses. It's a franchise record for them. Los Angeles goes 88 and 74, 20 back. San Francisco goes 80 and 81. 27 and a half back. San Diego goes 71 and 91, 37 games back. Atlanta goes 67 and 94, 40 and a half back. Houston goes 64, 97, 43 and a half back. As we go to the postseason, American League Championship Series. Game one, on October, the Boston's home games are at Fenway Park. And Oakland's home games are at Oakland Alameda County Coliseum. Game 1 on October 4th in Boston. Red Sox 7. A's 1. Game 2 on October 5th in Boston. Red Sox 6. A's 3. Game 3 October 7th in Oakland. Red Sox 5. A's 3. Boston Red Sox are going to the World Series and they're ending Oakland's three-year run. National League Championship Series between the Reds and the Pirates. Since Reds home games are at Riverfront Stadium and the Pirates home games are at Three Rivers Stadium. Third meeting between these two teams in the National League Championship Series, by the way. Game 1 on October 4th in Cincinnati. Reds 8, Pirates 3. Game 2 on October 5th in Cincinnati. Reds 6, Pirates 1. And game 7 on Game 3 on October 7th in Pittsburgh. Reds 5, Pirates 3 in 10 innings. Reds are going to the World Series versus Boston. And it's also the third time the Reds have beaten the Pirates in the National League Championship Series. In both Game 3s, the American League and the National League were both played at night. So we go to the World Series. Reds and Red Sox. Boston's home games were at Fenway Park. Reds' home games were at Riverfront Stadium. Okay, we start Game 1 October 11th. Red Sox 6, Cincinnati 
nothing. Game 2 on October 12th in Boston. Cincinnati 3, Boston 2. Game 3 on October 14th in Cincinnati. Cincinnati 6, Boston 5 in 10 innings. Game 4 on October 15th, Boston in Cincinnati. Boston 5, Cincinnati 4. Game 5, October 16th in Cincinnati. Cincinnati 6, Boston 2. Reds up three games to two, coming back to Boston. Game six ends up getting delayed a few days due to rain. When they get to, when they get to game six on October twenty first in Boston, Boston wins seven to six in twelve innings. And this is the game that started bringing back the fans' interest back to baseball. It seems like everybody stayed up all night watching this game. As Boston went up three nothing, Reds came back, tied a game, and then they went up six to three. And then Bernie come, Bernie Carbo comes up. I think it was the seventh or eighth. Two on. He is a light hitter, and he ends up hitting a three run home run to tie the game at six. And in the tenth inning, the eleventh inning. In the top of the 12, there are some pretty good defensive plays, too. Key outs at key times, and then go to the bottom of the 12th. First batter of the inning, Carlton Fisk comes up. Has one ball go by him. I think it was called the ball. And second pitch, launches it over the green monster off the foul pole, which is a home run. Any ball that hits the foul pole is a home run. And it would... What made that even extra, I guess, special is the fact that when he's watching the ball, he's kind of waving it, trying to, with his hands, kind of pointing to one side, doing, waving it fair like this, trying to will it fair. Yeah, that's what me. That's what made that. I say that that was kind of fun to watch. So we got a series tied at three, and game seven, October twenty second. Reds in Boston, Cincinnati 4, Boston 3. Cincinnati wins their first championship since 1940. And Boston's still in the middle of their little drought. So there is a 1975 season capped off by what was considered uh, the callous and bringing the fans back to baseball. Game 6 of that World Series. Tomorrow, 1976, and the Yankees move back in the Yankee Stadium after his two seasons with, in Shea Stadium. But that's tomorrow. Until then, stay tuned.